This here is a seven foot stretch for Kevin Durant exact build. You're only going to find it here out of this pure green shooting pie chart for the skill breakdown. And you already know, besides no clickbait, I got your back. Welcome back to the only NBA 2K channel on YouTube with absolutely no clickbait builds and lives the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. New subscribers, thank you because now you're going to come to find out into the channel game you guys already know. This build right here marks my 424th build for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world, and I am the hardest working builder for you, the NBA 2K22 current gen community, and 424 builds only prove that fact that there is no competition. Now, this right here is Kevin Durant's exact build for stretch four out of the pure green pie chart. I have another one for him out of the pure green pie chart, but this one right here is different. Let's get into this build. Now, like I said, we're going to take the uh, skill breakdown of the Pier Green. We're going to come here with the physical profile of Pier Speed. Now, for his close shot, we're going to go all the way up. We're going to go all the way up on his driving layup. And then we're going to go all the way up on his driving dunk. Now, we're going to go all the way up on his three-pointer. We're going to go all the way up on his free throw. And we will go all the way up on his fadeaway mid-range jumper, which is his post-fade. Now, I have a fadeaway tutorial, and it's called Fadeaway Tutorial. Shoot fadeaways like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, where I show you how to shoot the fadeaway off of the dribble anywhere inside of the three-point line. Okay? And I also illustrate through my career clips how to do it out of catch-and-shoot situations. All right, so we're going to go up on his pass accuracy. We're going to go up on his ball handle. And then we're going to come all the way up on his post control. Now his post control is his footwork and his foot movement. That's going to help you out great on your fadeaway and on your close shot. You have low post moves to do a little bit of up and under pump fakes. All right. Now, all the way up on your interior defense. We're going to all the way up on your perimeter defense. We're going to go all the way up on your lateral quickness. We're going to go all the way up on your block. We're going to go all the way up on your defensive rebound. Right. Now, we're going to go here and then we're going to go right there so we're going to put 37 on your offensive rebound and then we're going to go to 36 on your steal all right now it doesn't really matter you can make them the slim reaper make them real skinny if you want to let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead we'll make them slight we're going to bring them all the way up to seven foot his actual playing height his exact build okay seven foot and we're going to drop his weight all the way to 210 pounds and then we're going to bring his wingspan back all the way to 84 all right and we're going to use the spot up takeover so you're going to get a 10 to your shooting okay and you're going to get a five to towards your physicals so at 99 overall you're going to have a close out of 86 a driving layup of 60 a driving dunk of 54 you're going to even have a mid-range of uh 62 when you unite the spot up takeover that'll be a 72 you're going to have a three-point shot of 88 when you unite the spot up takeover that is going to be a 98. You're going to have a free throw of 92. And then you're going to have a unstoppable fadeaway jump shot because you're going to have a fadeaway of 99. Now, your pass accuracy, that's going to be a 70. Your ball handle will be a 44. Your post control will be a 82. So that 82 footwork, like I said before, and your post moves for your fadeaway jumper and your post moves for your up and under fakes, when you're down in the paint, you can count on that with your close shot. Now, you're going to have an interior defense of 68, so you're going to be able to play interior defense. You're going to have a decent perimeter defense for a 7-foot power forward because that's going to be a 61. Your lot of quickness, that's going to be a 61 as well. Your block will be a 75, and then you're going to have a defensive rebound 80, and you have an offensive rebound of 41, and then you're going to have a steal of uh, 38. Now, there's four ways to get the fours, and I'm not going to recite them in any particular order. But one way is uh, reaching level 40, winning the NBA championship, 
getting to level 40 and the Gatorade facility. So you're going to have a speed of 73, an acceleration of 72, and a vertical of 64, and a strength of 52. When you ignite the shot created, I mean, not the shot created, sorry about that, but the spot up takeover at 99 overall, your speed will be a 78, your acceleration will be a 77, your vertical will be a 69, and then you're going to have a strength of 57. All right. Like I said, we're going to take the spot up takeover, of course. Spot up shooter takeover. And there you have it. Only here at Aunt Liza Channel. Now do we have a seven foot exact build for Kevin Durant stretch four. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you are new. Now what I'm going to do is test this build and show you where I place the badges if I were to use this build. Alright, now we got one. Let's go ahead and go a limitless takeoff. Why not? Now, we have, now with the limitless takeoff, you only gonna look for fast break opportunities, right? If you take anybody off the dribble out of the triple threat, go into the fadeaway, spin into the left or right with the shot stick with the fadeaway jumper. Now, we got 29 shooting badges, of course, mismatch expert, right? We're gonna go with Lucky Seven, Hot Zone Hunter. Blinders. Uh, we'll go. We'll, I don't know about mismatch expert, but fade ace. Okay. We're gonna go volume shooter, set shooter. So you hit that. You hit that deep uh, three. Matter of fact, not set shooter, but limit the spot up so you can hit that deep range three. All right, catch and shoot, and then we have one more. Hmm. I'm not going to go with shot timer. I'm going to go real shot player percentage with this build because you do have that fadeaway and you're going to have to hit that jumper, right? And being the fact that you do have a low mid range, right? Now, this volume shoot is going to make you nasty. All this is going to fall, but being the fact that you do have that mid range, right? I mean, that mid range will go with difficult shots. Now, if you don't want volume shooter, you can always go here. All right, or I doubt that the big man is going to push out on you, but if he does, you can go here. All right, or you can go corner specialist. All right, so I'll leave it right there for sure. Or you can go with this because you are weak, slippery off the ball. That'll help you out a lot. All right, like I said, I'm going to go here with volume shooter. Oh, yeah, volume shooter. Matter of fact, forget volume shooter. Let's go with clutch shooter. So you hit them game winners, and then I'll go slip you off the ball because that's going to show up when you're running down on a break and somebody tries to impede your progress. That's going to help you slip. Or when you're running through the lane, through the lanes trying to find an open spot to hit the final spot for a three, that's going to help you bob and weave through the lane a little bit more. All right? Now, we got 14 playmaking badges, unpluckable. We're going to go downhill, quick first step. Hmm. Hyperdrive. And then we're going to help him out a lot. We're going to go with quick chain, all right? Because his ball handle is low, so this is going to help you combinate a little bit better off of your ball handle. And then you do have hyperdrive for when you're running and you choose to go into that fadeaway jump shot, all right? Like I said, you can shoot that fadeaway off the dribble. Now we got six defensive badges, right? Let's go ahead and give us a chase down. Let's make us an intimidator, right? Let's make us a rebound, I mean a rim protector, and then a rebound chaser, okay? And there you have it. Kevin Durant's exact build. Seven foot stretch four. You're only going to find this build here at Ant Lives the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. As I always say, I got your back. To the channel gang, you guys already know. This is build number 424 for you guys. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world, and I am the hardest working builder for you, the NBA 2K22 current gen community. There is no competition, and 424 builds this year only prove that fact. And without anything further being said, I am.